Hello and welcome. This should be one of the last videos I'm making about ESCs or troubleshooting them and fixing them. With all my videos together now, I'm pretty sure I've come up with every single possible way to troubleshoot it and how to actually fix it. So the last one now is the APM. In my original video where troubleshooting the ESC, I had said if one of the pins was just kept on beeping like this. So this motor here is just constantly beeping. Now what I suggested I do in a troubleshooting ESC video I made was you have to test every wire into that port. So if I take out number one and put it into number three, and then this wire here, if you follow it, goes to motor one. So if motor one starts beeping, you might have to unplug the battery and plug it back in just to make sure. And if that motor actually stops and this one starts, so that's pretty sure, that's pretty guaranteed that the APM is fried for that output. But I would go one step farther and just try it in each of them. So try the one first in number three, then try number two in number three, then try number four in number three. And just confirm that every motor starts beeping and the other one that you had problems with stops because the only thing left would actually be the APM. So somebody in YouTube today asked me about the changing the outputs and finally I got unlazy and just decided to do it. So what I've done is switch the outputs from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight going in that direction and I simply just changed it in the other direction. So I'm gonna jump into Mission Planner now and show you the software. Go into Mission Planner, plug in your CX20 USB cable, not with the battery though, unless you did the cable mod. Um, go to initial setup. Go to load custom firmware. Go to the folder where you put my hex file. Double click on it. After it's done, go to uh, flight data, connect, go to, I believe, initial setup, optional hardware and camera gimbal. It's really important here that you, if you have anything set, set them all to disabled. The whole point of me reversing them in order is so um, you can still use these, but they're on the other side. It just made a lot more sense just doing uh, an easy switch like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and change it to eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I was gonna switch it to five, six, seven, and eight, so you just had to shift everything over, but then it might get a little bit more confusing with the wires, because then four would become number seven or something, or number three, and it would just get a little confusing on the APM. So it's just simpler that way. So for now, just disable these and test it out. The next thing I'll show you is just the pinouts on both APMs, and that's about it. All right, so I got the I have the original CX20 APM, the 252 version, just on top of this guy, just to show you guys the pinouts. So on the output side for the motors, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what my firmware does now is it changes it the other way. So now it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight instead. So if you don't want to really mess around with the motors or something, you're nervous, just do one wire at a time. So take this wire out first and move it to the first location here. Make sure the whites are on the bottom, grounds are on the top on this APM. So just to show you, it's okay. It can be kind of messy. I got these little wires here. Then you take the next one for number two, and then move number two over on this side. And then this will be the hardest one. Also 
post it up. So I'll just remove number the last one and put that one down because we know that's the only last wire anyways. Goes there like that. And then goes on like that for this ATM. If you forget the motor numbers, because again it goes one, two, three, four now, and the motor layout on the, the quad here, it's one, two, three, four. And that's the order it goes back on, just in case you get that messed up. I'll show this APM now. All right, so on the APM 2.6, 2.8, it's usually labeled on the outputs, but anyways, this one goes from right to left. And the way it goes is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, going that way, but it should be marked on the board. And it's just like the other APM. You take the number one now and you place it on this side. So now it just goes this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's that easy. And the motor is the same way, so that's one, two, three, four. So it's the same thing. All right, so there's the proper way now for at least this firmware. So again, kind of important. So it goes one, two, three, four now.